If you're new here, my name is Billy, this is my workshop, and you're watching KH Entertainment. And just to be clear, today's video is sponsored by Ugreen. I do genuinely recommend their products though, even when they're not paying me. So with that said, let's see why this little box has earned its place on my desk. Let's take a quick look at the product itself. Under the hood, you could load four NVMe drives. So you can push this thing all the way to 32 terabytes of high-speed flash storage. This product shot may be spinning, but these hard drives sure aren't. With Thunderbolt 4, 10 gigabit ethernet, and Wi-Fi 6 built in, this compact speed demon has transfers of up to 1,250 megabytes per second. That's real numbers, not brochure math. First things first, we've got to get this mask set up, and the easiest way to do that is with the Ugreen mobile app. All right, we just put the drives in, and I've got the device plugged in and powered on, so we're going to open the Ugreen Mass app. I am logging into my existing account, which is going to take me to my DXP4800. Okay, so we have to go to new device registration. And so register. Here we're just going to set up a new admin account with a password of your choosing. Uh, I used a password generator because I like my passwords very complex and I would never remember them off the top of my head. Then just register your email address so that you can use the cloud functionality and log into your NAS remotely. Now we're just gonna wait for the device to complete setup and reboot, and then it will take us right into the setup of the storage pool. Showing our four drives, I'm gonna select all four of them. So I'm gonna go with RAID 10, or RAID 0 plus 1, or 1 plus 0 in this case, um, which gives you high speed and you have the redundancy of having two sets of backups. I'm going to switch from X4 to this BTRFS, which is a newer file system. Enter your password one more time. Okay. All right, our storage pool is created. We have just under two terabytes of usable space. And now we're going to head over to the desktop to do some initial testing. Now, let's take a look at what those numbers actually mean. Okay, so here's the footage for this actual video you're watching. And this is the iPhone footage. I'm gonna drag it from the old DXP4800 over to the new DXP4080T over the 10 gigabit ethernet connection. So for comparison, here are three more files from the iPhone folder. Uh, now these are on the NAS and now I am going to drag them over to my MacBook, this time over Wi-Fi and not the 10 gigabit ethernet. Now do keep in mind that this is Wi-Fi 6, so this is actually pretty fast for a Wi-Fi connection. Now it's not gonna be as fast as 10 gigabit ethernet, even though in theory it could be in a perfect world, uh, but here we're getting about five minutes for 13 gigabytes of data, which is pretty respectable, but oh, the other one just finished and it only took about one minute. So 10 gigabit ethernet is the way to go. My main job for any NAS is post-production. So let's take a look at how this performs in Premiere. Now here, I have a timeline with some footage that I just carried over to the NAS. And this isn't just 4K footage, this is 8K footage. And I can scrub through this over the network with no problem at all. There's no proxies, nothing's been downsized. This is pure 8K footage over the network, scrubbing without a problem little foreshadowing of some videos to come. Another unique feature of this NAS is the AI enhanced photo and video album, where you could just simply put in a search term to find exactly what you're looking for within your own photos. Uh, for instance, here I'm gonna type in 3D printer and lo and behold, it's gonna find a lot of results for 3D printer related photos and videos that I have on this device. So it's not only good at helping you find pictures of inanimate objects like 3D printers, but it can recognize people and pets too. Here I'm typing German Shepherd because I've never actually told it my dog's name. And as you can see, the AI had no trouble finding my dog Athena. And by the way, this is a local AI that runs directly on the NAS. It doesn't make any calls out to the internet. So this is actually pretty impressive. And yes, I take a lot of pictures of Athena. The DXP480T has a built-in Docker server, which enables cool things like this. Running the full desktop version of Bamboo Studio on my phone or any device in my house. Why? I'd like to ask, why not? The DXP480T has apps available on all major platforms, including iOS, Android, Mac, Windows, and even most smart TVs. 
the Smart TV app links directly to the built-in media center, which organizes your TV shows, movies, and any other entertainment content that you have on the device, uh, which is pretty cool. And I'm sure you all are gonna obtain that stuff legally, right? Right? If speed and capacity is on your wish list, grab yourself a 480T today while it's 20% off. The Prime Day link is down below. I'll be filming a deep dive video on this one soon and I'm gonna be going full geek on it. I'm talking Docker Swarm, home automation, automatic backups, all the nerdy bits. I might even plug a Thunderbolt GPU into it and try to run my own AI on it. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that level of technical how-to going forward in my videos and be sure to like, share, and subscribe before you go. Don't forget to jump on that 20% off deal before it's gone, and I'll see you guys next time.